So hi everyone. Today we have Darshil with us. So hi Darshil, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Great man. Great. Great to see you as a freelancer. So guys, जो भी Darshil को नहीं जानते हैं, Darshil is a freelancing and data engineering. और काफी एक्सपीरियंस है इनको छह सात साल हो चुके हैं अभी डेटा इंजीनियरिंग साइड में तो दर्शील से आज पता करते हैं वी विल आज दर्शील क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू फ्रीलांसिंग एंड इफ अ फ्रेशर वांट्स टू गो अहेड विद डेटा साइड एंड आल्सो लिटिल बिट ऑफ डेवॉप्स आल्सो वी विल टॉक बिकॉज आई नो यू ऑल आर वेटिंग फॉर डेवॉप्स ऑल्सो सो दर्शील Uh, can you please tell me like how you have started your career as a freelancer so i started my career so i graduated in 2019 and i did job for one year now the company that i was working for was in the startup space like they were consulting for us and europe firms helping them with the data strategy right so i learned everything over there about data engineering devops side cloud engineering so everything i learned in one year i was also managing few interns under me so i got a lot of exposure how project come how they get delivered and how you get the sign off so now that i learned all of these things so i wanted to do something on my own so i found that i can replicate the same model of the consulting on to freelancing so this is how i started like after one year i quit my job and i started freelancing and then i've been doing freelancing for last four years great so you have uh, left the job right now yeah. great great that's awesome i see that freelancing has many opportunities right now so can you tell one thing like if a fresher wants to start from basics so what are the websites for the freelancer to start with and uh, what is the scope initially how much he can ask for the clients in amount okay so if you are a fresher uh, i guess the first thing that i always suggest is to have the skills uh, the high demanded skills right so in freelancing market you have like lot of skill set so you have like video editing like if you are a good thumbnail designer you can get a job in even in the sd or devops domain right if you are an expert in particular tool let's say jenkins or aws whatever the tool that you are comfortable with you need to have a skill so first is have the skills if you have the skills then you need to have some way to showcase your work right so you can't go online and say right okay i can do your work you have to show ki you know you have done these work in, in the past so you need to have a project now even if you haven't worked in the corporate world you can create your own projects and then uh, create like good ppts around it and share it to the client so this is how you get started with the freelancing now there are a lot of platforms that can help you with that upwork fiverr.com freelancer.com and there are like vertical based platforms uh, depending on your skill set and that you can start right so this is how i got started i started my career with the upwork and fiverr mainly of course because i got a lot of great. work over there and the first client that i got was around like 100 dollar work 100 dollars for right. web three for hourly basis they will pay right no not really so the first client was fixed pay uh, he told me ki i want to scrape some data from html website Achha. so i did that and i got 100 dollars great after that i got a job for hourly pay so great. this is how my this is when i quit my job the actual job and started freelancing which was around 30 dollars job okay. and it changed my complete perspective around that great great yeah. so one important question i think those who have seen till now they would be thinking like ye banda kya kar raha hai he's left the job and he's doing freelancing so ek baat batao kitna इनकम हो जाता है वट इज द इनकम यू कैन कंसिडर लाइक यू आर टेलिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ सम लाइक ऑब्जेक्ट राइट इन स्टेड ऑफ टेलिंग यूर एक्ट थिंग माई लाइफ डेफिनेटली सो अगेन यू टेक द कंसिडरेशन राइट माई इन माई फर्स्ट जॉब आई गॉट अराउंड लेस टू सेवन लैक पर आनम ओके दैट्स प्री नॉर्मल आफ्टर ग्रेजुएशन आई हैड लाइक गुड स्किल सेट दिस हाउ आई स्टार्ट बट इन फील एंड सिंग यू आर वर्किंग फॉर द कंपनीज और द क्लाइंट अराउंड यूएस एंड यूरोप so you will get paid in dollars and euro so if you consider hourly pay let's say 30 dollars and if you work 8 hours you can also work for 12 hours depending on your capacity i used to work for 8 to 9 hours so if you multiply that it goes roughly around 15 to 18000 ina so you can earn that money but it completely depends on the how much work you put in uh if you don't know you won't earn any money if you take a break you won't earn any money so this is the Um, other side of the freelancing, but if you work 16 hours a day, you will earn that much amount of money. So you can make monthly three to four lakhs if you daily. Great, great, time. great. So it means that almost like an SD salary of four, four to five years experience what they are getting in top product based companies. I think that is really good. And what would you give one suggestion to the freshers? Because recession is going on. Everyone is thinking like, "Ab job milega ya nahi? Ab kahan jao? Main kisko puchu?" So. Even I got some of the pings कि भैया मैं freelancing करना चाहता हूँ. What is the uh, good thing? Shall I go or not? तो आप एक चीज़ ऐसा बोलो कि भाई whether we should do or we should think about job. What is your suggestion? Final suggestion. I mean, I mean, if you are early in your career, you should 
definitely explore your options. So, if you are job for the job, right? If you are trying for the job, then prepare for the job also. But think of a way that how you can get some external projects. So, it's not only about like getting work from let's say Upwork or Fiverr. You can also reach out people on LinkedIn or Twitter. You will find a lot of people asking for work. Let, let's say I need a software engineer to create my website. You know, these kind of small work can get you started with your you know actual field, and then you can figure it out. So. Again, if you are just getting started, experiment, learn as much as you can, and then try to showcase your work to the other people. Great. Uh, so, Darshi, uh, I was thinking about like people are always thinking about DevOps. People are always thinking about data side, and sometimes I see that ChatGPT also came, and there are some things like uh, ChatOps GPT, yeah. DevOps, DevSecOps, Dev Data Ops. So, what do you think about these all roles, and what do you think about DevOps and data engineering? Uh, in a holistic view so i feel devops is like a, you know good methodology around all of these features right you have the sd jo you know they'll develop the applications and everything but they can't deploy all of these things so you have like specific people who can operationalize the entire process same goes in data engineering we build a lot of data pipelines so we have the data coming from multiple sources right if you take the example of amazon it might have data coming in images audio feedback aata hai rdbm apis So you need to aggregate all of these data and create the pipeline. Now you have to write code for that, like transformation logic for that. Now, uh, if you make changes in the production, it might break the entire data pipeline. So that is the reason data ops, which is kind of like a combination of DevOps with the data engineering. Mm-hmm. So you can operationalize the entire process with a specific tool. So if you make a change, it will go through the specific uh, step before making the actual changes in the production. So. This is how the DevOps is integrated with each and every uh, field. I feel it's not something uh, you know you have. You need to learn a DevOps every time because it's not something you learn. Let's say if I am a software engineer, I don't need to learn DevOps. DevOps is something you need to learn so that you can become a better engineer. So I always suggest people to explore as many as skill and how they work. Everything is connected. SD, uh, data engineering, data science, AI, DevOps. All of these things work together to build the final product. so definitely it's not something that this is better and this is not better you have to pick your interest i like working in data engineering he likes working in the devops industry uh, ajay bhaiya likes working into <laughs> front end and sd side mm-hmm. so obviously it's your interest what you really like working definitely explore your option try it out work on few projects you will find a lot of things internet and see uh, where you actually want to work great thanks darshil for coming on to my channel it was really nice talking to you and your thanks jovish you energy has really boosted i think i should also explore some part of data engineering and okay. again okay. see you all next time so do subscribe to the channel and check out all the links that is there in the description thank you everyone this is singham signing off